Please all stand and let us pray the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Together with our personal intentions, we offer this Mass for the gift of life and birthday intentions of Elmer Sabal, Vincent Gabayoyo, Charles Catarata, Frank Rayleigh, Rafael Pansacala, Christian Garong, Camille Chaser, Ren Arthur, Nico, Joshua Tahan Langit, and of John Michael Gabato. Thanksgiving for all the blessings received and good health for the family, offered by Christine Ramirez. Thanksgiving for all the blessings received and good health, offered by Kang family. Pamisa pasalamat sa tanang grasya nga nadawat, sa maayong panlawas ug sa mga problema nga nasulbad. Offered by Kalyao family. Thanksgiving prayer to Mama Mary, Jesus, St. John Bosco, Santo Nino, St. Benedict, to all angels and saints, for all the blessings and graces and answered prayers, as well as the love, mercy, and protection offered by Giselle Acapulco, for the healing, recovery, and good health of Zedric Monilar, Lino Bagtas, Elijah Jared Valencia, Josh Valencia, Junjun Artiliano, Monsignor Nestor Astilio, Monsignor Amado Olaivar, Father John Cardinal, Father Ariel Arias, Father Franco Uras, Andre D. Galaura IV, Isabella Quiton, Melody Daro, Eugenia, and of Rufino. Thanksgiving Mass for good health, safety, and answered prayers, healing and fast recovery of Alexander Makaspak, offered by the Skitado Barinke family. For the intentions of Ricardo Librodo III, Glenn Clinton, Rimjel Lozano, Kyle Dimer, Edgar Allan and Irish, Hilary Joseph, Robert and Marilu Paraiso, Anselma, Vince, Elmer and Miguelita, Runel and April Grace, Christian and Angelica Lu, Justin Miguel and Nina Sofia, Carl Crescenciano, Kyle Angelo, Maristila Counts, Mary Jane, Le Lea, Chris Lobon, Elena, Salvador Olivar and family, Daph Rose, Bonnie, Ella, Father Merwin, Kang Leon, Father Dennis Gabiana, Cardinal Tagle, Advicula, Rosales, Bishop Buzon, Cantillas, Varquez, Palma, Billones, Leon, Cabrera, Papal Nuncio, Bishop Brown, Bishop Cometa, Bishop Valles, Allen, Charity, Troy, Herman, McCoy, Anita, Lourdes Community, Ella, Gabon Family, Dr. Karen Lewis, 
Andre III, and Honey May Galaura, Attorney Melissa Gallio, Abad Family, Brother John, Brother Rafi, Father Nuret, Father Allen, Father Martin, Fights Makinlunos III, Mary Queen of Heaven Missionaries, Gara Family, Zita Family, Carcalas Family, Kaila, Borja Family, Cardinal Vidal, Ada Marilu Macario, Father Anthony, Jeannie, Mrs. Valenciano, Tess Taganile, Lizelle, and of Mariel. For the eternal repose of the souls of Romolo Gerozaga, Boyet Enriquez, Magdalena Pardinilla, Edgardo Ponce, Father Pedro Aruta, Apolinaria Olivar, Robert Go Kang, Jeronimo Jr. and Sr., Heaven Grace, Elma, Maximo, Margarita, Procopio Sr., Pedro, Carmencita, Norberta, Maria Carmel, Anon, Absalon, Josar, Castor, Maria, Cipriano, David Burlas, Antonia Burlas, Jovelin de la Concepcion, Claire Comoso, Jehani Aznar, Cirilo Vistal Sr., Jelime Vistal, Marevel Limbaga, Pablita Dakay, Socrates Dakay, Claro Canonigo, Epifanio Canonigo, Victoria Canonigo, Felix Canonigo, Cristina Ripunte, Pasita Navarro, Rico Navarro, Piderico Navarro, Victorio Campo, Aiki Navarro, Benilda Lasquives, Rosa Navarro, Inara Labrado, Labrador, Joa Navarro, Andres Labrador. And for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, especially those who died from COVID-19. Please all stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we are on the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. We are invited today by the Lord to look at the miracles in our life and be able to recognize Him, bow down and pray in thanksgiving and adoration to Him. Let us also pray for our personal and community intentions. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are in great need, those who are sick, those who are in the front lines against COVID-19. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Hosea died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with a train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. They cried one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips, yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an amber that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, See, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard of my mouth in the presence of the angels i will sing your praise i will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name in the sight of the angels I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called you and said, you build up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord. When they hear the words of your mouth And they shall sing the ways of the Lord Great is the glory of the Lord In the sight of the angels I will 
sing your praises, Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what He has done for me. Your kindness, O oh Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the words of your hands. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In Side of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. A reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preach to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved if you hold fast to the word I preach to you unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them. Not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, good evening. What is a miracle? Unsa man ang pasabot sa tong ginatawag nga milagro? The dictionary definition of miracle is that it refers to a surprising and welcome event that cannot be explained by natural or scientific laws. In the scriptures, a miracle is an event that involves the direct and powerful action of God. Kining ginatawag nato nga milagro, usa ka paghitabo nga dili nato matukib, dili nato masabtan o kaha dili nato ma-explain. That is why we say this is a work of God and is from God. We have heard about many miracles, especially in the Bible. In the Old Testament, we heard the story of the parting of the Red Sea by God through Moses, by which the people of Israel crossed over, thus ending their slavery in Egypt. There was another one, I don't know if you're familiar with this. During the time of Joshua, by which the sun did not set until they have defeated their enemies in a battle. There were miraculous cures, especially of leprosy, like that of Naaman, a Syrian, and many more. These miracles are works of God that inspires wonder and awe, displays the greatness and glory of God, and leads the people to realize that God is present and active in the world. Maybe some of us have experienced miracles in their lives. I have heard of stories about miracle babies, cure or healing from certain illness, deliverance from evil and sin, or finding somebody who got lost, and many more. Kini nga mga milagro nga atong nasinati, nagpakita ka nato na anaagayod ang ginuo kanunay nga naguban ug naggiya kanato 
bisan sa atong panahon ug sitwasyon karon. God is ever present with us. He is truly the Emmanuel, God with us. In today's gospel, we heard about a miracle performed by Jesus in front of three fishermen in Galilee. The miracle in our gospel is called the miraculous catch. And why was it considered a miracle? It was miraculous because Simon, Peter, and his crew have already given up after fishing all night and not catching even a single fish. Isn't that discouraging and tiring? They have given all their effort going into the deep all night in order to earn a living, yet they were not successful. They failed. Then a carpenter walks by in the person of Jesus and suggests that they try again. These three fishermen listened to the advice of an ordinary carpenter whom they heard teaching the people about the Word of God, and his advice actually worked. They were able to catch a great number of fish that their nets were tearing. Sa kadaghan sa isda ang ilang nakuha, hapit na magisi ang ilang pukot. That was how much fish they got after listening, not to a fellow fisherman, but to a carpenter and a teacher of the Word of God. Then their leader, Simon Peter, saw this miraculous catch fell at the needs of Jesus. And a very important statement by the evangelist is presented here in the Gospel. Simon Peter saw. Nakakita si Simon Pedro. And what did Peter see? Unsa man ang nakita ni Pedro. He saw the great catch of fish after listening to Jesus as a miracle. Nakita ni Simon Pedro ng katung panghitabo, usa ka milagro, usa ka panghitabo nga wala niya masabti ug matukib. In front of the great miracle, Simon Peter fell at the knees of Jesus and said these words, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Because Peter saw the miracle, he recognized Jesus as Lord and God. And he acknowledged that in front of God, he was a sinful man, an unworthy person, a nobody. Giangko ni Simon Pedro ang iyang pagkamakasasala sa atubangan sa ginoo nga nagpakita kanila ni atong mao nga milagro. Brothers and sisters, God is ever present with us. And His presence is something that we feel and experience every day. And with His active presence in our life, we can say that there are a lot of miracles that are happening every day, right in front of us. Maybe the question is, are we able to see them as miracles? We start our day by waking up from a beautiful and restful sleep. Are we able to recognize this? As a miracle. Many of us are able to do things, work and study, play and enjoy life because we are in good health. Do we say that our good health is a miracle? Ni adtong Disyembre kita nakasinati sa Bagyo ug bisan unsa pa kadto ka kusog daghan man kanato ang nagub-an ug panimalay na wad-an ug mga butang apan karon buhi ug nagpadayon gihapon sa kinabuhi. Dili ba kini usa kamilagro? Just like Simon Peter, the key is the ability to see. The ability to see that a miracle is unfolding. And to where shall it lead us to? Just like Peter, who saw and recognized the miracle, we also will fall on our knees in adoration and thanksgiving to the Lord. When we are able to see the hand of God in the many events of our life, 
we cannot but be led to pray, to give thanks, adore and honor God, and even ask for His forgiveness. In this Holy Eucharist, brothers and sisters, we shall also witness a miracle. The bread and wine that is to be consecrated will become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And later on during Holy Communion, the priest or minister will proclaim to each of us the body of Christ. And our response is, Amen, which means, I believe. Nagatuo ako na ang akong gikalawat maugayod ang lawas ni Kristo. Thus, every time we celebrate Mass, we are witnessing a miracle. And we are receiving Him who made the miracle possible, Jesus Christ Himself. And this is our challenge for today and the coming days. Let us open our eyes of faith in order to recognize God's miracles in our lives. And once we see these miracles, let us allow ourselves to kneel down in prayer in front of the Lord. Today, as we receive the body of Christ, another miracle will happen to us that we will become Jesus' miracle to the people around us, starting in our own families and communities through the transformation and change of heart that will also happen to us. Let us become fishers of men like the first apostles of Jesus today in the gospel because we ourselves have experienced, have seen the miracles in and through our Lord Jesus today. Let this be our prayer as we continue on in this Holy Mass. Lord, let us see your hand at work in our life today and always. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith in our loving and merciful God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of me, consubstantial with the Father. Through, through him all were made. were made. For us and men and for our salvation, salvation he, he came down, down from heaven, and, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And, and his kingdom, kingdom will have, have no end. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, Lord, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Aware of the great need to have ordained ministers in our communities, let us present our humble petitions to the Lord, who calls people to be His partners. Let our response be, Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. For the Catholic Church, the boat of Peter steered by the Pope, May Jesus continue to instruct the nations from it as he did during his life on earth. Let us pray. 
Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. For the Holy Father, the successor of Simon Peter, the fisherman from Galilee, may he enjoy the fruits of his apostolic ministry under the guidance of Jesus, the divine fisherman. Let us pray. Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. For our priests and all those who are involved in the pastoral ministry, may they always work in docile obedience to the teaching of Jesus and with full dedication to the good of their flock. Let us pray. Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. For those called to the priestly ministry in the church, May they respond with generous availability and persevere in the good work till the end of their life. Let us pray. Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. For our community and each of us, may we show appreciation for the work done by our parish priests and their assistants and support them with our prayers and collaboration. Let us pray. Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, send more laborers to your harvest. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us, Saint Joseph. Pray for us, Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us, San Roque. Pray for us, San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us, San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Lord God, source of our hope and salvation, continue to bless us with many and holy co-workers of Jesus in the pastoral ministry that we may serve you in joyful faithfulness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord our God, who once established His created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Jose our Archbishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the help of Christians, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, St. John Bosco, St. Dominic Savio, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it. Sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look with favor on your family, O Lord, and bestow your endless mercy on those who seek it. And just as without your mercy, they can do nothing truly worthy of you. So through it, may they merit to obey your saving commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.